So last week was not the greatest week. I went 9-6 and six in all the games going up to uh, Monday Night Football. The Steelers are winning right now, so it might be 10-6. and six. So it's not a terrible week. But that was my record last week. So we're going to get ready for week five now. And week five brings out an interesting question. How will some of the teams that lost last week rebound? And there's going to be a lot of uh, interesting games for that matter. And um, one thing about, uh, I'm going to straight up say it, I was wrong about the Bills. And what I mean by that is I thought they could beat the Patriots. They didn't get the job done. So I was wrong about that. But I was right about the Titans beating the Falcons. The Falcons continue to struggle against AFC teams at home and in general, and they lost again. So with that being said, let's go towards this week's picks. The LA Rams coming off a loss at home to the Tampa Bay Bucks are headed to Seattle to take on the Seattle Seahawks. See, in this game, I originally had the Seahawks winning. But then I thought about something. Sean McVay's Rams are 2-0 and in Seattle, and they're 3-1 and overall against the Seahawks. They have played the Seahawks pretty well, and their D-line and their defense in general can put pressure on Russell Wilson. That's something that many other defenses can't do. And the Rams also can score on the Seahawks. They have a penchant for scoring on that defense. So this game, Thursday night football in Seattle, does not look as intimidating. And I think the Rams can go in there and win to regain their swagger, beating the Seahawks. And taking back second place in the NFC West. The Jacksonville Jaguars go into Charlotte, Carolina to take on the Carolina Panthers. All of a sudden, the Carolina Panthers are 2-2, two and two and they're not terrible. Well, the Carolina Panthers have not won a game at home yet. That's the interesting thing. I think they get it done this week. I think they win their first home game of the year. They beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, improving to 3-2, and two, their third win of the year in a row. The Arizona Cardinals take on the Cincinnati Bengals. And if the Bengals-Steelers game ends the way I think it will, then the Bengals will remain winless. So in this game, I have the Bengals winning their first game of the season, taking down the Cardinals, improving to 1-4, and four, potentially. The Atlanta Falcons are headed to Houston to take on the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans are quite an anomaly. They have played pretty good in some games and pretty bad in others. I think they get the win here because the Falcons are just dreadful. And the Texans are gonna take on take out the take them out at home, improving the three and two. The Tampa Bay Bucks, what a game last week for the Bucks. They went into LA and given props. They went into the Coliseum and they took down the Rams. But now they play the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are gonna be ready for them. They're division rivals, they know the Bucks very well. And while I do believe the Bucks can beat the Saints at least once this season. I don't see it being this game. The Saints are going to barely get by the Bucks. Alvin Kamara is going to do his thing, get a couple touchdowns, get 100 yards, and the Saints are going to beat the Bucks. The Minnesota Vikings could not do anything against the Chicago Bears last week. Well, good, good news for them. The New York Giants defense is not the Chicago Bears. The Vikings rebound and go into the Meadowlands and beat the Giants. Speaking of those Bears, London game. Chicago Bears taking on the Oakland Raiders live from Tottenham Stadium in uh, in Tottenham, England. I think the Bears get this one. Bears' defense is just too good. It doesn't matter if they have a backup quarterback going. I think they get the job done running the ball, controlling field position, and just terrorizing the Raiders on defense. The New York Jets go into Philly to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. I have the Eagles taking them out here, um, winning their second in a row. The Eagles get the job done. And I'm actually going to make them my survivor pick of the week. So I have them absolutely winning. The Baltimore Ravens go into Heinz Field to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is a tough game to pick. And the reason why I think it's tough is because the Ravens are falling back down the earth. They've lost two in a row. And now they go into Heinz Field to take on the Steelers. My gut tells me that the Ravens are the better team based on the injuries, but... My gut also tells me the Steelers will show up big for this game. And I think they get the job done at home against the Ravens. Their defense holds down Lamar Jackson. The Buffalo Bills go into Nashville to take on the Tennessee Titans. The Bills are going to be starting Matt Barkley. I'm going to go with Marcus Mariota to get the win here at home 
Titans take down the Bills. The New England Patriots are going to land over Maryland to take on the Washington Redskins. I'm not making the same mistake as last week. The Patriots get the win here to go to 5-0. and The Denver Broncos go into uh, Carson to take on the LA Chargers. I have the Chargers winning this one, improving to 3-2. and And the Broncos will be 0-5. That's sad. The Green Bay Packers go into Arlington, Jerry's World, to take on the Cowboys. I have the Cowboys rebounding and winning this time around. They're going to go to 4-1 and one with the win. Sunday Night Football, I have the Chiefs overcoming the Colts 38-17. to 17. And lastly, the Cleveland Browns take on the San Francisco 49ers live from Levi Stadium. I have the 49ers going to 4-0. and They're going to terrorize Baker Mayfield all day, and they're going to go to 4-0, and remaining undefeated. What do you think about my picks? Do you agree with them? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.